and welcome back to the turdford channel all right today's lab is a single replacement lab is what we're going to be doing the main thing you need for the lab today is this it's known as a 12 well spot plate and yes i know if you count there's actually a 13th well i guess it's just a bonus well onto the side anyway at any given time you're not going to be using more than five of these wells so what we're going to do today in the lab all we're going to be doing today in the lab is we see this plate that we've got here, this 12 well spot plate. All we're going to do is be looking at, we're going to be looking at three different metals. We're going to be looking at iron, we're going to be looking at magnesium, and we're going to be looking at copper. Now, we're going to be looking at those metals and then seeing how they react. I think your different solutions that we're going to be using is MgCl2, I think you've got solutions of CuCl2. This is in your data tables already. I'm trying to say, remember, AgNO3, HCl, and oh, there's one more that's actually in the solutions for that lab. Oh, what are you? One last miss. Oh, yeah. FeCl3. So, anyway, all we're going to be doing is essentially mixing these things together and seeing what happens. Everybody's always like, Mr. Cole, can we go to the lab? Can we blow something up? Can we mix a bunch of stuff together? I'll be honest. Most of these things, when you mix them together, guess what you end up getting? A mixture. Nothing happens. So literally, that data table that you have, don't be shocked on some of these, and I'm not calling any out in particular, but don't be shocked if on some of these you write like nothing nothing happened whatsoever and this is all you're going to be doing in terms of your table now i think the table in your lab has actually got like letters like this doesn't it? a b c d e something like that uh and i am honestly talking to people there not to myself anyway what you need to do is this just go off to the side and like a if a on mine my A is the reaction between iron and MgCl2. Write down what happened. Uh, it bubbled and smelled like... Okay, I was going to say duty. I can't spell duty. Duty? Uh, anyway, that's not very Kimmy. Uh, Kimmy. Ah! Here, I'll go with the feet comment there. Anyway, just write down something. Uh, and on the other hand, again, some of these, you can, now this is actually what you should write. If you don't see anything happen, just write this down in the little spot. No reaction occurred. So anyway, write something like that down. Just let somebody know that you didn't see anything happen. And I'll be honest, a bunch of these, Nothing will happen. So this is the part where we should be like looking at, so what are we going to write for procedures? Well, it's simple. I would pick one of these to start with first, whether it's iron, magnesium, or copper. The iron, the iron looks like a powder. It's just a powdery looking substance. The biggest thing I can tell you is this. Don't get a lot of it. Now, you can fill up the little wells with the liquids. That's cool. But if you put too much of, like, the metals down inside of the wells, you won't see anything happen. So, like, if I was going to do iron first, I would go in the lab, and I would pick, like, five of the wells, and I would put a little bit. I think I've stressed this in other labs. I would put a little bit of iron in five of these wells. And the reason why I'm like, don't try and do more than just like iron at one time, and that's four, and you need five. If you try and do too much at one time, some of the reactions, by the time you start writing what happened, you'll actually be writing no reaction occurred when in reality a reaction did occur. So what will happen is it'll already be finished by the time you get down and write. So what you need to do is like go to the center get a little bit of iron put in each one of these wells and then go over and in like one of the wells you'd add the mgcl2 and another one of the wells you'd add the hopefully y'all see what we're saying uh cucl2 it'd probably be better if you had like an order to how you did this 
I'm trying to remember the others. AGNO3. And then I keep forgetting, what is it? The FECL3. But anyway, just go and do this. And you can take the liquids and you can actually like fill these liquids up inside here. You can fill the wells up with those liquids. But it's the metals. Don't put a bunch of the metal in there. You won't see anything happen. Now, you probably need more than my little spattering in the pictures here. But anyway, go back to your table. Write down what happened. You might actually get this lab done really quick. When you are done, there's a waste container back there. Just dump all this out. Wash your plate off. And then you can go back and do it again. I do not want to change my color scheme. Thank you, Windows. Uh, how about this? Uh, the magnesium. The magnesium actually looks like little silver-looking turnings like this. Same thing. You just put a little bit of the magnesium in each plate. That's a good sound effect. And then go back, add one of the liquids to each one. Here is the number one thing. Your procedures are going to be really short. I bet some of you don't write three procedures down to do this lab. The biggest thing some people write for procedures, they will say something like uh, add, add metal to each of five wells. Somebody will say something like that, and you call these wells. And then their next thing will be like add solutions or add solutions to all or something like this. People make it word, they word it so that it sounds like you dump all the liquids in every hole. What do you need to be very particular about when you're telling somebody what to do here? Make sure they know that each well gets what? A different solution. One well gets the AgNO3, one well to CuCl2. You're trying to see what each one of these do with each uh, different material. Now, the copper, on the other hand, I've just got a piece of copper wire. So you just need to go get five pieces of the copper wire, and then you do the exact same thing. Uh, and that's it. That is all you're doing in the lab. So you should have a list of. Oh, I'm going crazy now. What are you doing, you crazy computer? Ah, Bob, don't care. You should end up, when it's over, though, you should have a list of observations where you say what happened in your lab. And that's it. Then you're going to come back. Now, the conclusion for this will be kind of a pain because what's going to happen, your conclusion is actually going to be pretty simple. A bunch of these, nothing will happen. But on some of these, there will be a reaction happen for any that a reaction actually happen. Uh, say, for example, I'll go ahead and give you, I think, Mg plus HCl. It reacts. So what you're going to do is come back and, ooh, a quick mind uh, freeze thing. Do you remember how to do this from last year? The Mg and the H do what? Swap places. And H2 is a gas. That's a plus 2 minus 1, so that's a 2. And then to balance the equation, you need a big 2 in front of the HCl. And if your brain's a little sore on remembering this, the video I made for part 2 of this walks you through every one of these. Plus, it's what we're going to be doing in class. Anyway, that's all your conclusion's going to be, is writing this out for everything that happened. So anyway, uh, later, and hey, don't forget safety glasses. Other than that, not much to say. And remember, anything you have waste in the center of the lab, there's a big thing. Dump all the gunk inside of it. Anyway, uh, peace out, love, and more hot wings for all. Bye.